disaster management can be divided into two parts pre disaster management and post disaster management pre disaster management includes the complete preparation and planning to face any type of disaster and for that purpose the first thing that is needed to be done is identifying the pro disaster areas pro disaster areas are those areas which are prone to disasters where disasters have occurred in the past also so gaining information about such pro disaster areas the officials can exercise emergency powers to preserve life property and public health once the disaster strikes secondly collecting the information about intensity of disaster and probable sites of disaster through predictive intensity maps and hazard maps respectively so information is collected regarding the intensity of disaster which has occurred in the past at that place can be done with the help of predictive intensity maps and probable sites of disaster can be determined with the help of hazard maps hazard map is a map that highlights areas that are affected by or are vulnerable to a particular hazard for example earthquakes volcanoes landslides flooding tsunami etc so hazard maps help to prevent serious damage and deaths hazard maps even provide important information to help people understand the risks of natural hazards and help to mitigate the disasters hazard maps will indicate the extent of expected risk areas and can be combined with disaster management information such as evacuation sites evacuation routes etc getting special training for disaster management increasing awareness about disaster management among the general public through training programs mass media etc post disaster management post disaster management this includes providing all types of necessary help to victims of disasters participation of preferably local peoples saved from disaster in arranging the help to victims quick establishment of help center different types of disasters need different types of control centers categorization of help material received from control center delivering the material to victims and continuous review of the help so providing food packets clothing etc to the victims is done here being always prepared for disaster rescue so this is how we classify the disaster management into two parts what can be done before the disaster strikes and what can be done after the disaster has struck so this is what is done in pre disaster management and post disaster management here i would just like to add about the national disaster response force which is acronymed ndrf and it was established as per the disaster management act of 2005 after the tsunami struck the coast of india in 2004 we did not have any such special response force in india but it was in 2004 when the tsunami struck and uh, it killed several people that the need for a special response force like ndrf was essential and uh, with this respect the national disaster response force was established 
as per the Disaster Management Act 2005. And the people of this force have substantial contribution in rescue work in disasters like cyclones, cliff sliding, building collapse, etc. Also, I would like to add that the National Civil Defense College was founded on 29th of April 1957 and it is in Nagpur and it is the first disaster management training institute of our country. Let us now study the main aspects of disaster management cycle. The first step in the disaster management cycle is preparation. Plan is prepared to minimize the destruction in any disaster if it occurs. So the most important part of disaster management is preparation. To plan and execute the plan so as to minimize the loss of life and property. So the main aim of disaster management is preparation so that the loss of life and property will be minimum. Next is redemption. Plan for minimizing the damage to the society and country. Here we will implement the plan so that there is minimum loss of life and property. Preparedness. A plan is chalked out so as to get the quick response from general public and administration. So once the plan has been chalked out and it needs to be implemented and so we need to inform people about it so that they can become a part of it along with the administration. Let us take up an example of the pandemic of past one year. Once the pandemic was set into our country, the entire country went into lockdown. The people were informed about it and they participated in it along with the administration. Next is impact of disaster. Intensity of various aspects of disaster and disaster management are reviewed. In this, we were informed about testing, getting quarantine or isolation or hospitalization. So the intensity of various aspects of the disaster were told to us and the management was reviewed accordingly. Then comes the response. Response to the disaster is to be given immediately after the incidents. This factor is followed by the disaster strike in this cycle. Coming to resurgence, which means rising back to life. We know that everything had gone under lockdown, but gradually things started coming back to normal and step by step the things were unlocked. So resurgence is an important link between emergency measures and national progress. Resurrection is a stage used for the welfare and rehabilitation of the nation. Resurrection means regeneration. So it is important that after the disaster, things need to get back to normal and the nation needs to progress. So it's important that the welfare and the reha re rehabilitation of the people and the nation as a whole is brought about. The last step is restoration. This is an important link between measures after disaster and national development. This step is useful for progress of nation and rehabilitation. So these are the main aspects of disaster management. Structure of Disaster Management Authority In case if there is a disaster, an authority has been established at the level of the government. And in this flow chart, 
we have been shown the function of control and coordination under the disaster management from national to the village level. So let us try and understand this. National Disaster Management Authority. The chairman is the prime minister of the country. State Disaster Management Authority. The chairman is the chief minister of the state. District Disaster Management Authority. Chairman is the collector. These are supported by organizations providing precautionary warning and other social and private organizations. At Taluka disaster management level, the authority that is the chairman is the Tehsildar and village level committee chairman is the Sarpanch. These are supported by the general public. They are a part of the disaster management and altogether the entire system is involved in the actual rescue and rehabilitation work. So this is the structure of disaster management authority.